It's Hop Along Cassidy. With action and suspense, out of the Old West comes the most famous hero of them all, Hop Along Cassidy, starring William Boyd. The ring of the silver spurs heralds the most amazing man ever to ride the prairies of the early West, Hopalong Cassidy. This famous hero thrills his 60 million fans with action and dangerous adventure. In the role of Hopalong Cassidy is the popular star of the motion picture series, William Boyd. And now, another exciting story of the early West. The King of Spades. Roundup time at the old Bar 20 has come and gone, and Hoppy has taken a leave of absence to do a special favor for a friend, the head of a railroad that's pushing out through the lonely mountain ranges of the southwest. Together with California and an engineer named Reno Ryan, Hoppy leads an exploring party seeking an unmapped path through the Purgatory Range. Night overtakes them just before they reach the colorful border town of Mesa Seca. The men sit around their campfires, talking and singing, while Hoppy, California, and Reno discuss the terrain ahead with their guide, Francisco. The badlands beyond Mesa Seca will be the worst yet, senor. So whatever it is, wild and lonely. We've crossed tough country before, Francisco. See, si, but the badlands is different, amigo. It is treated with outlaws and murderers. Usually they kill first because they mean business. Then they ask the rest for money. Have they got a leader? Oh, see. Si. He is one few men have seen. They call him El Rey. Uh, how you say, uh, uh, the King of Space. The, the King of Space? Uh, why do they call him that? Uh, because, Senor Cassidy, his victims are found usually with a King of Spades on the chest. And a knife driven through it. Seems to me that what the Badlands need is a posse of vigilantes to go in and clean it out. There has been such talk before, but this King of Spades... He has friends with the politicals of the territory. You mean this thug has political drag? With whom? I think with the party of Don Carlos Jackson, the American. The local politician, huh? Eh? See, tomorrow night is the grand fiesta in Mesa Seca. They celebrate the election of the new territorial delegate to Washington. The election was very close, senor. The party of Don Carlos almost won. Well, if he lost, I don't guess he cuts much ice around here. Ah, you mistake. Don Carlos is still most powerful. He's close to the alcalde, the mayor, judge of Mesa Seca. Tell me, uh, Francisco, just who do you think the king of spades really is? I do not know for sure. But I think maybe he is Don Carlos Jackson himself. Hey, sounds like the horses are catching a whip of a coyote. Well, uh, of course, he... Uh, coyotes in his country big as wolves. Uh, I guess you two hombres are going to have a chance of catching up on your dancing tomorrow night. Hey, you figure we can stay over long enough to go to that fiesta? Why not? Besides, I want to meet this Don Carlos Jackson. Hey, what's wrong with the horse? <laughs> That's Francisco. Come on. Francisco, what's the matter? Where are you? It's all gone dark. Oh, what's happened? It's dark. Where is it? Francisco, where? Wait, here he is. Lying by our supplies. Francisco, what happened? Hey, bring that lamp over here. Yeah, set it down. Francisco, what? Holy mackerel. He's been knifed. Look. Into his body by that knife. A car. Yeah. The king of spades. <laughs>
Now back to Hopalong Cassidy and our story, The King of Spades. While leading an exploring party, Hoppy makes camp for the night just this side of the border town of Mesa Seca. The guide has just expressed his opinion that a local bandit leader who calls himself the King of Spades is actually a local politician named Don Carlos Jackson. A few minutes later, the guide is found stabbed to death with a King of Spades on his chest. The following morning, Hoppy and California gather in the office of the alcalde, the mayor and judge of Mesa Seca, Don Felipe. You can be certain, Senor Cassidy. I shall do everything possible to bring this murderer to justice. What I can't understand, Don Felipe, is why you and your vigilantes haven't mopped up on this King of Spades and his gang long ago. Oh, it is not so easy, Senor Cassidy. These men are everywhere. My deputy, Don Carlos Jackson, has been trying. Don Carlos Jackson, eh? See, si. even now he is out with the vigilantes looking for the murderer of your guy. Hoppy, this knife the killer used, it doesn't look like any local Indian knife to me. It isn't. Indians may take scalp, but they don't notch their knives. That's a white man's trick. Listen, the vigilantes, they return. Yeah, I can see them through the window. I don't see them bringing in any prisoners. That is Don Carlos, who is coming up the veranda. Uh, buenos dias, Don Felipe. <sighs> Ah, gentlemen, our luck was no better than yours in trailing down that swine. Obviously, it's someone who knows the country well. An Indian, probably. I wonder. You have cause to think otherwise, Cassidy? An Indian would have come up wind so the horses couldn't scent him. But that's neither here nor there right now. My men and I have to be moving on, and I need another guide. One who knows the bad land. <laughs> It'd take a brave man to accept such a job, Cassidy. Do you know of one? Frankly, no. But it can be arranged. If you mean surrender to blackmail, Carlos, the office of Alcalde cannot be part of it. Don Felipe is a man of honor, gentlemen, and so are we all. But if you wish to be uh, <clears throat> practical, shall we go outside? All right. Thank you, Don Felipe. Your kindness and hospitality will be remembered. You will attend the Easter tonight at the Grand Hacienda? We shall look forward to it. Easter the window, senor. Cassidy, the way this matter is usually arranged is to send a messenger into the Badlands. If successful, a guide will be furnished. If this pass through the mountains exists, he'll know where to find it. And the price? Well, some palms will have to be greased here and there, and the king of spades will be. Five thousand dollars will cover everything. Five thousand dollars? I wouldn't pay five cents any high-binding bandit who ever lived for permission to cross free American territory. I see. <laughs> well, that's the spirit. Hey, Hoppy, will you just look what's riding this way on that high step in Palomino? Oh, Senor Alhira, Dolores. Don Carlos. Senor Alhira, this is Senor Hoplon Cassidy and uh, California Carlson of the Railroad Surveying Party who arrived today. Senor Alhira is famous for the Palomino she breeds on her rancho. There's only one thing prettier than a blooded Palomino, Senora. And that's a beautiful woman who knows how to ride him. Oh, I have heard of your fame as a cowboy, Senor Cassidy. But I do not know you are also clever with the compliments. I will see you at the fiesta tonight. I wouldn't miss it. <laughs> bueno. I'll uh, go for your aid, Dolores. Do not trouble, Carlos. I can find my way. <laughs> oh, when a widow is as beautiful and rich as she is, she can afford to be independent. Yeah. Mm, a widow, huh? Well, I hope you gentlemen find the guide you're looking for. If you change your mind about uh, the uh, negotiations I suggested, don't hesitate to call on me. See you at the fiesta tonight. Yeah, tonight. So, Senor Cassidy, the famous hero, is already all tired for my few little dances. I didn't ask you to come out on the veranda with me because I was tired. No. I thought we both could use a little fresh air and some of that moonlight. Ah, ah. 
You wish to refresh yourself with a little romance before going into the badlands tomorrow. Well, from what I hear, it'll take more than the refreshing memories of a romance to see me through that stretch of purgatory. I think maybe you are right, senor. One of the reasons I've stayed over at uh, Mesa Seco for the fiesta was to have a look at some of its leading citizens. Seems to me a big-scale bandit like the King of Spades could hardly get along without help from some of the big wheels running this territory. For instance? Well, to pick a name out of the hat, it might even be uh, Don Carlos Jackson. Do not let Don Carlos hear you say such things. It would be most dangerous. Is that you, Hoppy? Say, have you seen a... Well, Miss Dolores, I've been looking all over for you. I, I got the next dance, remember? How are you making out with those waltzes and tangos, California? <laughs> well, they ain't much like them hoedowns I'm used to, but, oh, shucks, I just grab my gal and let nature take its course. <laughs> <laughs> that is what I fear, senor. Oh, why are not the rest of your men at the fiesta, senor Cassidy? Well, under the circumstances, I thought it best they stand guard at our camp at the edge of town. Ah, Dolores. Hello, Cassidy. Hi. Carlson. Oh, uh, this is my right-hand man, Drigo Gonzalez, chief of our vigilantes. Buenos tardes, senor. Uh, my dance, I believe, Lawrence. Not this one, Jackson. I got it spoken for. My arm, Miss Dolores? A slight mistake, Carlson. The rest of the dancers on my card are all with Senor Alhira. What? Now, look here. Senores, do not quarrel. To settle the argument, I will dance with Senor Capi. Thank you, Senor. You gentlemen will stand to one side. I already said it was my dance, Cassidy. See? And you heard him, I think. Mm-hmm. Hey, don't you two hombres start nothing. I wouldn't reach inside that coat, Jackson. He's got a gun, Hobbit. No, you don't. California, watch out. Bring away the night. Grab Trigo's knife off the floor. They're all friends of Don Carlos. Sorry, this had to happen. Come on, California. Let's get out of here. Evening, Don Felipe. Don't be frightened. We doubled back here to your house end and lost that gang chasing us. I want a word with you. You've caused enough trouble already, I think, Senor Cassidy. Ask Senor Al here about the, how it started. What do you wish of me? Information. What end of the knife that killed our guide, Francisco? It was left with you for evidence. The, the knife? Why, I gave it to Don Carlos Jackson, who has been trying to trace the owner. Why do you ask? Because here it is. Oh. The night that same knife was used by Jackson's man, Trigo, an attempt to murder still another man. Namely, me. Well, just the same, I still need a guide, and I think Jackson can help me get one. Where does he stay? Here, senor. Here? He shares the hacienda with me. His quarters are through that door. But if he returns and finds you here... Where are you going? To Jackson's room. Senor, you violate my hospitality. Not yours, Don Felipe. Jackson's. And he tried to take my life, so we're even. Come on, California. Hey, he's fancy. What are them curtains over the bed for? The roof loop? <laughs> Senor Cassidy, what are you looking for in that desk? Evidence, Don Felipe. Evidence. Evidence of what? Evidence of... Yeah. And I think this is it. What is it, Happy? What did you pick up there? Oh, yeah. A deck of cards. Happy. The design on the back of those cards. Right. It's the same as on the card we found on Francisco's body. But those cards, senor, they are a most common kind. There are many such decks in Mesa City. I wonder. There's one thing about this deck of cards that is different from any I've ever seen before. Gee, every one of them. Exactly. Every one of them is the king of spades. <laughs> Before we continue, here is a word from your announcer.
Now back to Hopalong Cassidy and our story, The King of Spades. In an attempt to discover the identity of a bandit chief known only as the King of Spades, Hoppy halts his railroad exploring party overnight at the border town of Mesa Seca. After an attempt on their lives by Don Carlos Jackson and his gunman Trigo, the two cowboys invade Jackson's quarters during his absence and there discover an interesting deck of cards, every one of which is a king of spades. Just then, the pounding of hoofs in the distance and a burst of gunfire brings them out running. Listen, sounds like our boys. Doggone that Reno Ryan. He must have heard the shooting, and now he's left camp wide open while he leads a rescue party. Let's get to him fast. Let's go, Copper. Holy mackerel. Puppy, there's about 200 of these pound buzzards fighting our boys. Odds are they're near 10 to 1. Reno, Wyatt, Cody, get back. We'll cover your retreat. Get Man, back. Man, I'm glad to see you. Thought you in California was gone. Now, we'll talk about that later. Let's get out of here before we're all killed. All right, give them a round to keep their distance. Let's turn the camp. Let's pound leather. <laughs> still here. Lucky they didn't burn it while you and the boys were busting up the town. All right, load those mules. We're breaking all camp. Right, right. What about a guide, Hoppy? All we got are a few maps, and they ain't much good. Well, we'll make the best we can, California. We just haven't got a guide, and that's that. What, you what? Senor, I hear her. Jumping catfish. Where'd you come from? What are you doing here? I found the camp deserted when I rode out here, so I waited in those shadows for your return. You see, Hoppy, it is necessary for Mesa Seca to atone for this wrong it has done to you and your men. So, I will guide you through the badlands. You? See, si. when I am a schoolgirl, my father's rancho covers all of the badlands and more beyond. He takes me on many hunting trips through the badlands. Now his rancho is gone, but I remember that country well, amigo. Look, I appreciate your offer, senora. I but... am not so soft as you think, Hoppy. I ride as well as any man. I know, and I but... I can shoot as well. See? I have brought my belt and gun, and my bedroom is packed on my horse. I know the Navajo tongue, and I can see But, uh, It is settled. I shall guide you to Purgatory Mountain. I shall atone for the dishonor of my people. Head there. Three days we've been plugging through this here devilish country, and she ain't tired yet. I ain't never seen such a gal. Somehow, though, I get the feeling she's not so sure of herself since we got up into these barren mountains. Yeah. How, how do you mean, Hoppy? Well, the way she keeps looking around as though she's trying to find landmarks that ought to be there but aren't. I tell you the truth, if we don't find that pass pretty soon, I'm going to begin to get a little worried. Oh, well, shucks, Hoppy. She keeps on saying we're bound to hit it if we just follow this route. I hope so. She... Hold it. Halt! Halt! What is it? Look, top that rocky peak. Three, four miles dead ahead, that flashing. Yeah. Hoppy, someone on that mountain seemed not to be the mirror. So I noticed. It's Morse code. Who you reckon they're signaling to? Hoppy! More signals flashing from that mountain behind us. Well, there's your answer, California. Bandits in front and behind us. Talking to each other. Well, I learned a little more helping out the telegrapher at Mescalero. But darned if I can make out what they're signaling. It sure ain't English, whatever it is. You're right. And it isn't Spanish either. It is Navajo. Navajo? Oh, gone it. These engines are sure going modern. They used to signal with smoke, but now it's with mirrors. There is nothing to fear. They are only Navajo hunters who signal our presence to each other. Yeah? Hey, what are you doing with that little mirror? I signal them for direction. Well, you always carry a mirror with you. Senor, I am a woman. Oh, yeah, as if I could forget. What are they signaling back? The pass. The pass is over there to the right. We go off on the trail here, and soon we find a deep, narrow canyon. That is it. To the right, boys. 
To the right. Get going. To the right. Get going. This canyon is sure deep enough and wide enough. Looks like it goes straight through to the valley beyond. Where's Deloitte? Why, she must have went up ahead. Reno, you keep the lead. Everybody right close to the canyon wall, you understand? Yeah. California and I bring up the rear. On the devil, keep them moving. Coffee, yeah. what's the matter? That's what's the matter. It's an ambush. Keep them in close to the canyon wall, boys. Off your horse, California. Get going, Copper. Come on, California, we're moving back. Get close to the canyon wall. Hoppy, I, I don't get it. Well, what are we getting? While they're attacking our main body under that rock over Hines, we'll climb up the canyon wall and get behind them. Behind them? They're taking cover behind those rocks just below the crest, using it as a parapet to shoot from. Well, yeah, I know. Our men can't move from under that rock over Hines without getting massacred. I took some dynamite from our supplies. It's in my shirt. Dynamite? Come on. we are got to climb around the them and do it quick. <laughs> Expected to get this fur without being spotted. Can you see them? Yeah, they're just below us. Looks like there are about 50 of them shooting from those boulders. I'll just jam the dynamite under here. There. Now the fuse. She says we must get out of here. When that goes off, it'll blow the whole top of that slope into the canyon and those thugs with it. Stand where you are. You're covered. Jackson. So, Cassidy, Carlson, keep those hands high. Reach. I couldn't reach as high as you're going to swing, Jackson. I. <laughs> oh, oh. Uh, I got his gun. Good work, Hoppy. The next time you pull a gun on anyone, Jackson, don't look away. Not even for an explosion. Or you're liable to end up just the way you are now, flat on your back. You should keep your eyes open, friend. Very good advice. You should follow it. Well, why, Miss Dolores, how did you... Talk more. Trigo. Oh, well, you brought your other little playmate with you, eh, Dolores? Take their guns, Trigo. See. Si. Hey, what is this? Let me introduce you, California. Senora Dolores Alhira, otherwise known as, shall I say, the Queen of Spain. What? Oh, you think that a stupid big Carlos Jackson is a king? Huh. He is not smart enough to be even a consort. Well, they were just bad luck, Dolores. I didn't see him until... A he... stupid old blockhead. I tried to arrive sooner, but you were here all the time. You allowed this cobble to destroy nearly all my men. On account of you, the other gringos have gotten away. They will report what has happened, and soon the accursed railroad and more gringos will come. Well, how did I know he had dynamite? I... D- no... No, Dolores. Don't do it. Dolores! Well, Jackson fooled me. Fooled you, Cassidy? I told him he would hang. I guess it's your neck to hang when it's going to be interested in. (laughs) I doubt it. Tell me, Cassidy. You were not surprised to find that I am the king of spades? Not after you tried to pull a fast one with those heliograph mirror signals. You thought no one in my party could read Navajo lingo, but you were wrong. I can. Yet you led your men into the trap. Trap? After what happened, you call it a trap? I see. So you planned to do what you did. You're getting smart, Dolores. Trigo, get horses for these two quick. Tie them down tightly. We must hurry. Back to Hop Along Cassidy. So 
Well, this is your hideout, eh, Dolores? Looks like it might have been an old hunting lodge. In this wilderness, Cassidy, the accommodations are a little rough, but at least you can be sure of peace and quiet. No one will ever find you. That is, until I release you. When will that be? When your ransom arrives. Ransom, eh? I asked only $5,000 for your passage through the Badlands. But it will take a little more, I think, to redeem your valuable hide. Just how valuable do you think it is? Shall we say uh, $25,000? 25000 To make it a real bargain, I will throw in this funny-looking California for nothing. No, look here. Senora, I hear something. What is it, Trigo? Listen. Maining horses coming this way. The gringos. They find the trail. Impossibly. We leave no trail. It is all rock. No use, Dolores. You two haven't got a chance. Here come Reno and the boys over that rise. Trigo, shoot. Stop up, California. Somebody get me off my hand. Simmer down, Dolores. You got a long ride to the next jailhouse. Oh, Reno, how the Sam Hill did you fellas know where they taken us? Why, we just followed the king of spades. What? Well, how Remember can... that deck of cards I took from Jackson's room? They were all kings of spades. Why, sure, but you... I just slipped them out of my pocket as we rode along, dropping one every 50 yards or so. Lucky this place wasn't any farther. I was right at the bottom of the deck. And so an exciting adventure ends for a hop in California. They'll get back to the bar party just about roundup time and settle down to a peaceful ranch life. And leave a hankering that won't last for very long. Somewhere there'll be trouble, and that's when Hoppy will ride out into another dangerous escapade. If you'd like more of these two gun adventures of Hoppy's, don't forget, you can see him in the fine Hopalong Cassidy pictures at your local theater. Hopalong Cassidy, starring William Boyd, is transcribed and produced in the West by Walter White Jr. The King of Spades was written by Irvin Ashkenazi. All stories are based upon the characters created by Clarence E. Maltz. This is a Commodore production.